Hello Aries, this is Renee and welcome back to my channel if you're new. Aries, we're going to take a look at your general energies. This is going to be a general reading. My readings are timeless. So when you see this reading is when it was meant for you. Make sure to take a look at your sun, moon and rising for more uh, clarifying messages. We have accept love. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have follow your dreams, Aries. Let's get some more energy for Aries. I've already pre-shuffled these decks, so let's get into your energy. What do we have for Aries? We have slow down and rest you need it you may be taking a lot of time Aries you may be pretty busy we also have turned lemons into lessons um, so let's see let's take a look at other energies we have for you but I feel like you're open to love you're accepting whatever is coming towards you um, so if you are open for love, Aries, that may be something that's coming. We'll have to take a look at the cards. What do we have for Aries? What do we have for Aries spirit? Completion. So you might be completing the cycle and we have mysticism. Yeah, you might be completing a cycle at the moment, Aries. Um... Take a look at the tarot, see what the tarot has to say. What do we have for Aries? Sun, Moon, and Rising. What do we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising spirits? What messages do we have for Aries? The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I feel like you're going through changes, Aries. Um, something's going in your favor. Something is coming that you may not be expecting. Yeah, you're moving into calmer, a calmer situation. Um, if things were hectic, if things were kind of running really fast, um, I feel like things are starting to calm down for you. What do we have for Aries? Yeah, we have the uh, Five of Swords. And we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. Okay, Aries, with the Five of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands, I feel like you might need to make some choices, and you're kind of conflicted. You're not sure which choice to make. You're feeling kind of stuck at the moment. Um... You're definitely slowing your pace, you know, and I feel like you're taking your time making this decision because it's something that you hold very dear to you. It's something that may be very challenging right now. You may be going through something that you need to make this decision and you're not quite sure which way to turn. Um, it could be about your finances. With this Knight of Pentacles here, this, this could be, hmm, but uh, I feel like you're working really hard to get through this situation. You're just not quite understanding the, the answers. The answers just aren't coming to you yet. This also may be you feeling a little under the weather. I feel like you're kind of aggravated about something and you're trying to figure out a solution. Whatever is aggravating you, I feel like
you're kind of stuck. As which way to go, which way to turn. What else do we have for Aries? The Ten of Swords. Whatever this is, Aries, you're done. You're finished. You're through with it. Um, this is definitely, you're definitely going through something, some kind of completion. Something is done and over with and you're just ready to move on to something better. What is this for Aries? The Eight of Swords. Okay. I kind of feel like this is you holding yourself back. Aries. Yeah, you're showing up here. We have Aries in a very strong position. Um, you're trying to take your control. You're trying to take your control back. But I feel like you, there may be people around you trying to sway your decision on something. But I feel like this person um, or people are kind of being really sneaky about their decision. I feel like they're giving you bad advice. They're not being honest in the situation. And I feel like that's what you want is honesty. You want them to give you an honest opinion. Like I said, this could be about your finances. This could be about something to do with money. But I feel like it could also be something to do with your work. But there's a lot of swords here. I feel like you're deep in thought. This is something that you're really thinking about. You're, you're really dwelling on this. And I feel like someone is being really sneaky around you. Someone isn't telling you the truth. Someone is holding back some kind of information that you need in order to make an important decision. And I feel like you should trust your intuition in this situation. This also may, may be unseen problems, unexpected problems coming through. Um, something's coming through that you didn't expect. And I feel like that's kind of... The reason why you're in this stuck energy, Aries. But I feel like you are trying to take control of the situation. You want your power back. You know? Um, you're really trying to figure this out with it, whatever this is. What is this Wheel of Fortune? Tell me more about this Wheel of Fortune spirit. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune energy. The Knight of Pentacles. I'm going to move these over. Yeah, with this Knight of Pentacles, I feel like... You're trying to be patient in this situation, but you're looking for someone who's reliable. And I feel like with this... Uh, seven of swords and this eight of swords energy I feel like and five of swords I feel like you are kind of regressing through the situation you're kind of taking two steps forward and one step back you know you're you're not getting the information that you need you're kind of back to square one what is this Six of Swords. Tell me about the Six of Swords spirit. Yeah, the Four of Cups. So you're all in your head about this situation. You're you're really trying to think this through, but I think it's it's kind of taking you around in circles, um, Aries. I feel like you're really overthinking this situation because you can't come across the information that you need so you're like going around and around with it um, tell me about this five of swords what is this five of swords spirit strength okay with this challenge you have your strength Aries 
Um, I feel like spirit, you know, has your back. Um, I feel like you are, you're going to get the answers even if you don't get them right away. Um, but you do have strength in this situation. You are going to progress. You are going to make it through. Um, but you just need to have patience. You need to have courage. You need to be fearless in this situation, you know. Um, it could be a Leo that you're dealing with that kind of is holding you back. This Leo may be the, the reason for this struggle, this obstacle, this challenge that you're going through. What is this Knight of Pentacles spirit? Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. The Two of Swords. Yeah, you have a very hard choice to make. You're at a crossroads, Aries. And I feel like the choice that you need to make has to do with this stuck energy it has to do with this knight of pentacles something is going to take a little bit more than hard work you need to make a decision you need to make a choice in this situation um maybe you need to compromise but there's definitely a decision that needs to be made what is this Five of Wands? Tell me about this Five of Wands. The Five of Wands. You have the Five of Wands with the Five of Wands. So I feel like this is a challenge. This is an obstacle that, you know, really couldn't be... It really can be avoided. You have double confirmation of this Five of Wands. You know? So this is definitely... I feel like you're, you're, you're fighting. You may be arguing a lot. It may be with this Leo that you're arguing with. But I feel like you're arguing a lot. You're frustrated. You're kind of feeling overwhelmed and you're like done with it yeah with the ten of swords you have the five of swords now I feel like yeah you have the five of swords twice as well so I feel like this is something that you're completely done with you're done with this situation you want this to be over with you you want this choice to be made like I said I feel like this has to do with the Leo it has to do with someone who is kind of holding you back they're like keeping you from your control they're keeping you from making this decision that you need to make what is this eight of swords spirit there's a lot of swords here so I feel like you're really thinking with the Eight of Swords, you have the um, the Page of Wands. So I feel like in this situation, this is be is going to become very passionate. It may become very intense, very fiery, very emotional. Um, but I feel like someone's gonna say something that is gonna kind of push you over the edge, Aries. Someone's going to speak something that kind of pushes you to just want to change direction totally. I feel like you're going to be moving in a totally new direction. For... A few of you, this is going to be you coming to a breakthrough. You're finally going to be released from whatever this is that's holding you back. You're finally just going to release yourself of this energy. You're just going to move on. You're going to move past it. Tell me about this emperor. What is this emperor? 
You have the Four of Pentacles. I feel like you're losing your security. This may have to do with money. Because I feel like you no longer feel secure in this situation. I, I feel like you're losing your security. You're trying to take control of maybe your finances. I feel like someone is completely draining you. Someone's draining you. And it's got you really thinking. There's so many swords in this reading. Tell me about this Seven of Swords. What is this Seven of Swords energy, Spirit? The Emperor again. You're showing up again. You're, you're really trying to take back your control. You, you see this sneaky person. You see this person for what they're doing. And I feel like Aries... You're trying to get your control back. You're trying to take over this situation because you see them for exactly what they are. They're trying to drain you. Whatever this situation is, they're draining you of your energy. They may also be draining you of your finances because I don't feel like they're giving anything to the situation. I feel like they're just taking and taking What is the Six of Pentacles, Spirit? What is the Six of Pentacles? Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles. The Death Card. Yeah, with the Six of Pentacles and the Death Card, you're, you're looking for someone to give you the same kind of respect, the same kind of appreciation, the same kind of, you know, financial help that you're doing. But I feel like with this Death Card, they're not doing that. They're just totally taking they're taking and taking and they're going to keep on taking until they they like bleed you dry until you're done until you're over with you know and i feel like you understand this with this hangman energy you understand this situation aries um and you're looking for a way out you're looking for a way out of the situation i need an outcome for this Spirit, give me an outcome for Aries. Give me some advice. Give me some advice on this situation. The Nine of Wands. Yeah, keep your guards up. Keep your guards up, Aries. Hold your defenses. Set your boundaries. The Three of Pentacles. Yeah, ask for help if you need it. Because I feel like you may need help in this situation. You may need some sort of advice to help you out with this. Because I feel like this person is draining you. And we have the the uh, Ace of Wands. So there is light at the end of the tunnel, Aries. I feel like you need to set your boundaries. You need to raise your guard. Hold your defenses up. You know. And ask for help. Ask for someone that you totally trust. To help you with advice on this situation. Ask your spirit guys. Ask your angels. Um, and listen with your intuition. About the situation. They will lead you out of this. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. You do have a new beginning at the end. You know. Um, but I feel like you need to be strong. You definitely need to have strength. In this situation. Because I feel like this person, whoever it is, they are bleeding you dry. They are trying to take you for everything that they can. I don't know if this is financial or if this is just taking everything that you've got. Taking control of you physically. You know? But I feel like this person is just very controlling. Yeah, you have the Nine of Pentacles. So yeah, I feel like you need to take your independence back. You need to take back your power. You need to focus on what Aries needs to do to be self-sufficient. 
definitely take back your power Aries uh, we have the Queen of Cups at the bottom so I know you can do it you can take back your power and I feel like you know you may be deep in emotion right now this may be you really feeling the situation really asking for support asking for guidance for nurturing for healing in this situation you know um, because I feel like she's look at the her face her face is like kind of somber you know she's dipping her toes in this emotion but it's not happy emotion it's just like somber emotion you know and I feel like that's what you're doing Aries that's what you're doing at the moment let's see let's take a look let's get some oracle cards what can Aries do to improve this situation what can Aries do to improve this situation health so you may be feeling bad as well. This may be weighing on your health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Yeah, you not only need to take your control back to end this situation, Aries, but you also have to do it for your health. I feel like it's kind of draining you to the point to where you may be getting physically sick over this situation. You know? and denial I acknowledge that my fear I acknowledge my fear but I replace it with the insight of awareness yeah I feel like you're aware of what's going on you also have balance at the bottom I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment yeah I, f I feel like you're aware you totally have awareness, you know. Give me some more advice for Aries in this situation. What can Aries do to get through this situation, Spirit? What advice do we have for Aries? We have soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connection between all things. And we also have Teacher Awakens. You have something important to share. Follow the inner call and don't let anything stop you. Yeah, follow your intuition. Don't let anybody block you from that energy. Following your intuition is going to bring you through this situation. And I feel like, you know, getting guidance, getting help in the situation and keeping your guards up is going to help you through this situation as well. Um, Aries wow really intense reading let's get some more cards for Aries the big picture thinking Pilates energy I know I'm probably not saying that correctly visionary inspired ideas so I feel like the answers are going to come to you and we have called soul gifts and training it's time to step up so it's time for you to step up and take action Aries don't let anybody take anything from you that wasn't intended for them you know um, that goes for control that goes for finances that goes for anything you know don't let someone take something for you that was not meant for them what are the messages do we have for Aries? Healing energy. Yeah, you have healing energy, Aries. And we have cut the cords. So there's something that you need to do in this situation in order to free yourself, in order to bind whatever energy is around you that is draining you. Okay, Aries. Um... This is the part where we ask a question. If you would like, if you would like to pause the video for a moment to ask the question, you can do so. Uh, otherwise, we're going to get into it. What does Aries need to know, um, Spirit? 
What is the answer to their question? Give me an answer for Aries. Give me an answer for Aries, please. Abundance. In order to gain your abundance, you need to follow through. You know, raise up your guards. Set your boundaries. Set healthy boundaries. Something that's going to keep you well off. A year from now, you're going to be in a much better place. And within the next few weeks, you're going to make your final decision because it's time to take action. Definitely time to take action. Okay. You know what? I want to take one more card. I want to know about this person. Tell me about this person who is doing this to Aries. What is this person's intentions? What is this person's intentions for Aries? Yeah. Please don't judge me. Hmm. Wow. Get more information before making a decision. Yeah, so that is what you need to know, Aries. That is what I have for you right now. So, Aries, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. And Aries, many blessings to you. Until the next reading, love and light.